right, to get going, you guys are gonna have to follow a few guidelines with your animated emotes. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check these out for yourself. The big ones we're gonna be concentrating on are keeping our GIF images square in shape, meaning that the pixel height and width have to be the exact same. And second, we're also gonna have to keep our size of our files below one megabyte, which shouldn't be a big deal. And the other one that we might have to watch out for is the amount of frames that are allowed per GIF, which is only 60. When loading your GIFs for animated emotes on Twitch, you guys might see error messages like image file size too large, or image is not square and shaped, or that your image contains too many frames. Well, I've got an awesome website that I found a long time ago to help you guys out with this stuff. And I'll show you step by step with each error message, how to fix each one, you guys. EasyGIF.com has so many tools in the website that are free. There's no watermarks or anything like that that you're going to get with this website. We're going to come back here in a second once we find the GIF that we want to mess with. I go to Jiffy.com for all of my GIFs, you guys. Uh, the link will be in the description below for you. Up here in the search engine, you could search for anything you'd like. For this video, we're going to do a thumbs up GIF. All right, once you guys have found the image that you would like, go ahead and right click the image, select save image as, name it whatever you'd like, and then we're going to head on over to easygif.com. Like I said, you guys, I'll have the link in the description below for you. Once you're on this site, you're going to want to go ahead and click on resize, then select choose file, then select your new image that you just got and select upload. It shows us right here what our width and height and our frames are at. You guys remember we have to stay below 60 frames and we have to have the exact same height and width. So we're going to put in the lowest of the two, which would be 223 on the height. And we're going to match that with the width. We're going to put 223. Then we're going to go ahead and select resize image. Down below, we will have our resized image. If for some reason, this says more than 60 frames, you guys. What you're gonna wanna do is go click on frames and on this, it'll show all of the frames for your GIF. What you guys are gonna wanna do is just skip a couple frames here and there until you're under 60. So let's say you've got 120 frames and you have to be at 60, just go and skip every other frame and it'll take 120 and turn it into 60. And then when you're done, Go ahead and click make a GIF below and it will add your new GIF without the frames that you put in and it'll have it at the height and width that you want. Now you want to click save. Once it's saved, go ahead and go back to Twitch. Select your open slot on your emotes page. Click right here in the box and select the easygif.com GIF maker image that you just made. If done correctly, it should now show your image in there with no error messages. If you guys are getting an error message that we discussed before, make sure you just go back into Animated GIF Maker and you make sure that you guys are following the specs from the Animated Emotes help page that I posted before and you guys set the specs proper using the proper tool, either resize tool or frame skipping tool. For some reason, when you're done, this file size is still larger than one megabyte. All you guys are going to want to do is click on resize and just lower the pixel size until the file size is the proper size. So you would try maybe 180 at first by 180, resize the image. And as you can see, we dropped in file size here. Not a lot, but it did drop it in size. So what you're going to do is just keep on lowering the pixel size until you're under one megabyte, you guys. And as long as you have all of the standards, the frames are right, the height and the width is right, and the file size is right, your image is ready to go. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to set up your GIFs as Twitch animated emotes. If this video helped you out at all, don't forget to leave a comment below, smash that like button, and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.